for certified most accurate four zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. I was just thinking Tawny's hair looks really nice like that this morning. I don't know how she's doing it because it is so humid oh, yeah. outside right now. Yes. There is no question it is a puffy air day. It is <laughs> uh, that humidity very high this morning. Um, yes, uh, Tawny's hair looks fantastic. <laughs> we want to know your secret, Tawny. Uh, this high humidity is going to stick around mm. all day. In fact, over the next uh, several days. Not so much rain, though. Not very active today or tomorrow, but it looks like more rain will come into San Antonio this weekend. A little more widespread rain possible this weekend. Heaviest showers the next several days along the coast. We're talking showers and thunderstorms with pockets of heavy rainfall there. Drier and hotter for all of us next week. Yesterday we saw some rain, but this time most of the rain fell across the south and east. Now we ended up seeing some isolated uh, heavy showers in portions of Bear County. The airport ended up with just over a half an inch of rain down towards the south over an inch of rain in Catula. Portions of Dimmit County, Southern Maverick County also picking up over an inch of rain in Carrizo Springs, though just shy of a quarter of an inch. Seguin shy of one inch. Let's take a look at the lake levels. These continue to go up thanks to the recent recent rainfall. Canyon Lake 55.6% full now. That's up 8 to 10 inches. Medina Lake up to, uh, near 5.5 feet. 3.5% uh, full now. Lake Amistad 24.7%. That's up over a foot. So good news there. Uh, spotty showers and clouds off towards the east and over towards the north as well. But the heavier rainfall is along the coast. And there's the concern for flooding here. So there are flood watches in effect uh, from Rockport to Victoria, Sea Drift, Bay City, Houston, Galveston, including Sabine Pass over uh, southwest Louisiana and up into Beaumont. You can see that area of heavy rain heading towards Beaumont. Why are we seeing the heavy rain along the coast? Well, there is an upper level disturbance and you you can sort of make out that counterclockwise flow right across the coastal band. And with winds flowing counterclockwise, we should see some of that rain heading a little farther inland as that uh, moves a little farther to the north. Plus, there is a stationary front nearby to the north and west of that frontal boundary dry. So much of North Texas and West Texas uh, won't see uh, rain. Uh, we're also seeing that upper level support still uh, with the showers and uh, thunderstorms. There's a trough that's over the eastern part of the state. So later this morning, I think it's going to get a little more wet from Lavaca to DeWitt and Goliad counties. Uh, and then in the afternoon, I think we'll see some isolated to widely scattered showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm closer to San Antonio and the I-35 corridor. Tomorrow morning looks pretty dry, but we'll see some clouds. Most of the rain again tomorrow morning along the coast and then in the afternoon, maybe a little more active compared to what I expect to see this afternoon. Over the weekend, we'll see an increased moisture coming up from uh, the south. You'll see that here and that's going to bring some rain to deep south Texas, south central Texas. Rain here Saturday, Sunday, but it'll start to dry out as we go into Monday. Let's take you through this Thursday. So partly to mostly cloudy this morning. Temperatures generally in the mid to upper 70s. Slight rain chance late morning, then about a 30% rain chance for the rest of the day. Otherwise, we should see a mix of sun and clouds, couple showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, forecast high between 86 to as high as 88. The western zone, it is going to be partly to mostly sunny with a 20% rain chance. Dry though along the border, hill country 30% rain chance this afternoon. The eastern zone, a 60% rain chance throughout the day today. 40% rain chance in town tomorrow afternoon. 60% rain chance this weekend, scattered showers and thunderstorms possible Saturday. Sunday showers likely with an isolated thunderstorm possible 86. And then next week, here comes the drier, sunnier weather with temperatures, high temperatures climbing back to where they should be this time of the year, mid 90s, triple digits in the western zone by next week. Here's the extended forecast for two more zones. You can get this online at news4sa.com. Click on weather.